what's up my girls it's kelly and i'm back with another video as you guys can probably tell from that title we are going to be working with the most beginner friendly wig that i've ever worked with in life when i tell y'all it took me all of 15 minutes to get this look no glue baby literally just makeup a little conditioner and a little water that's it that's all okay so let's go ahead and i'm gonna show the girls how to get this look right here <laughs> y'all can see i started this video looking real ratchet real crazy i needed my hair did and i really didn't feel like taking hours to do my hair i just wanted to do something real quick real cute so i realized you nice sent over this um glueless unit it is a closure they sent over all the goodies that you need even though we probably not even gonna use half of that stuff because we about to make this a real quick install it is um a very beginner friendly wig if you will like y'all see i didn't have to do no plucking no bleaching literally nothing it came like this straight out of the out of the little packet that y'all see and then like look at the hair it's looking real hydrated the curls are popping so i'm like okay we off to a good start and then this is me just showing y'all the wig like without the little white stuff um and y'all can see like you don't have to even cut the lace either this is the inside of it it comes with the clips as y'all can see like the wig is very breathable y'all know it's hot outside baby you don't want to be walking around sweating bullets and then it comes with the um wig little band so that is what kind of helps keep those wigs intact when you have like a closure wig so as y'all can see this is my ball cap from the last install i didn't even have to take it off so we just gonna work with that i like to go ahead and get my wig band as tight as i possibly can because i got a little pea head as y'all can see but i like to go ahead and put my wigs on like front to back and then i just use the little strap to kind of like bring it to the back of my head and this is the wig straight on me not doing literally a thing to it it is a six by four and a half lace closure so it's literally almost kind of giving front so if you got your size down like how would they know <laughs> they won't know and then if you do some baby hairs i really give it that like frontal kind of vibe that's so that's what y'all see me doing right here y'all gonna see me kind of like adding hair taking hair away just because like i don't like my baby hairs to be too thick but i also don't like them to be too thin so that's why y'all see me kind of going like in and out with it and then um i like to go in with my hot comb just to kind of get the hairs out the way and i like to comb the hair back to give it like that frontal look as well like y'all know natural hairlines don't really come forward they kind of go backwards so that's what y'all see me doing then i go in with a wax stick and i basically do that same exact routine over again as y'all gonna be able to see the wax stick is gonna help it to lay down even more than i made it lay down the first time with the hot comb and you just kind of want to use the hot comb like don't be too fast with it be real slow and kind of just let that heat get in there you know what i'm saying and that's what's gonna help it lay down So now that we got that thing on flat flat what I like to do is go in and cut my baby hairs as y'all can see like I'm doing like an up and down motion and I know y'all probably think I like girl them baby hairs is too long but <laughs> y'all gonna see I like to always go longer and then go shorter and then I like to use my Nairobi foam especially when it comes to like glueless wigs I don't want to use any products that even like resemble glue so I like to use my little foam wax and then I just go in and kind of map out how I want my baby hairs to be I really do like a baby hair in the middle but I'm like okay that might be cute so let me try that and then y'all see me kind of going in and just kind of like cut in where i needed to be as y'all can see i'm not perfect with cutting you don't have to be you don't have to be no professional this is legit beginner friendly like everything in this video is a beginner friendly so just kind of do what you feel like works play around with it as y'all can see when it comes to baby hairs i'll be doing hair for a long time and it still be taking me a little minute like if you need some more product add some more product on there and keep working with them things until you can get them how you want them to be okay so that's why y'all see me going in like just keep going in <laughs> like it look it might look good but i'm like nope i don't like that let's fix it so once i'm done i just kind of like to wave in that product like let it dry type of situation then i go in with the little wig band you don't have to use it but see me i'm just a perfectionist so i went in with that wig band just to kind of lay those baby hairs down while i go ahead and finish styling the hair y'all see me kind of like pulling the hair from up under the wig band just so i could get everything out and then i go in with some water you want to go ahead and i like to drench my hair you don't have to drench your hair but like 
in order to get like the best results you want to drench that thing so i am going in drenching it and then once i'm done drenching it i like to just go in and like finger comb it just so you can like start to see like the definition and usually like when you finger comb y'all it be a lot of like you know fall out leave out and all that coming out of the hair but this wig is so good because it was very minimal shedding very minimal so once i get the hair all wet and whatnot i like to go in with my favorite conditioner this is my favorite conditioner at the moment y'all it smells so freaking good i just go in and rub that in y'all can see like it's white but you want to just rub it in until it's not white no more use as much or as little as you want i'm real heavy-handed and i like to use a lot of products when i do use products so that's what y'all see me doing then i go in and comb it out i like to start combing it out from the bottom and work my way up to the top that's just like the most effective way and it helps to um you know not have as many tangles and this is just the hair all like combed out with the products in it and y'all gonna see me do the same thing on the other side basically So once I finish the little routine on the other side, I like to go back in with a hot comb and then comb it back like I was telling y'all in the beginning. Even if the hair is wet, it's okay. You might hear a little sizzle, but that is just fine. Y'all gonna see like I'm just training the hair to go the way that I want it to go just to give it more of a natural look. And then um, I take that band off. Y'all, I probably, I kept that band on for all of five minutes or less. And this is just what it's looking like, y'all. Remember, we didn't really use anything. The only thing that's on this hair right now is the little Nairobi foam and y'all see me combing it out if y'all was ever wondering how people get like them soft baby hairs that's what they use they use that and then they just comb it out y'all see how like soft they look so i'm gonna just keep combing them out and then after that i'm gonna go in with my foundation or in this case bronzer um because i don't really have a foundation that's darker than me so i like to use my bronzer because you want to go in with something that's darker than your skin color because since the lace is light you don't want to put something light on top of it because then it's really going to be giving like casty and shadowy so you just want to go in with something just a tad bit darker that way it goes to your skin color and child that's that's it that's all when it comes to this glueless install y'all it was so easy for me to do when i say it took me maybe all of 15 minutes to do everything the thing that probably took the most time was doing them damn baby hairs and as y'all can see very much glueless very much giving the hair quality is good when i shake my head baby it's on there snug baby it's not coming off it's not coming off <laughs> So you can go ahead and be comfortable and wherever you going. But hold on though. Let me do my makeup and show y'all what it's really giving. Because y'all know once you do your makeup, the hair eats. It just, it eats differently. So this is the hair. If I had to rate all aspects of the hair, I'm going to get a lace like an 8 out of 10. The hair quality, y'all know I love me some curly hair, baby. And this some good curly hair, 10 out of 10. And then the comfortability of the wig, like it fit my hair perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and get out a 10 out of 10 as well. This is really the perfect beginner friendly wig like if you are anxious about doing your hair it just takes away that like beginner anxiety so honestly i'm really happy about this wig this might be my little go-to wig for this rest of the summer shout out to you nice for sending me this wig baby all the details will be down below in the description box make sure y'all click on that link shop this wig shop any other wig and i'm gonna catch y'all on the next video baby like comment and subscribe